Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer software testing interview question 87. That is, what is requirement specification document? Let me answer. There is no single requirement specification document. Instead, we have to say there are several requirement specification documents. It's not document, guys, documents. So what are the different types of requirement specification documents we have? So you can see here we have the main requirement specification documents as BRS and SRS. Okay, these are the two major requirement specification documents that everyone talk about. Apart from this BRS and SRS, there are other types like FRS, CRS, PRS and RPS. Okay, so these are the different requirement specification documents uh, we have and BRS and SRS are the mainly one that most of the people talk and a uh, few people will talk about FRS, CRS, PRS and RPS. Okay, so these are the different types of requirement specification documents we have and uh, here we need to understand clearly like what exactly is BRS and what exactly is SRS and what is the difference between BRS and SRS. Okay, this is very important. Let me focus on that. So coming to the BRS guys, uh, BRS stands for business requirement specifications document. Okay, BRS is a business requirement specification document, specifications document. It is generally created by business analyst. Okay, BRS document is created by business analyst. So, and it is derived from the client interaction. You see the client side, some discussions will happen like how the software, uh, what are the requirements for the software and how the software should be created and all discussions will happen at the client side. The client interaction will happen where the business analyst will involve in that uh, client interactions. Okay, in the all the meetings uh, done by the client uh, to derive the requirements in that meeting, the business analyst will attend that meeting and uh, will be part of that meetings and the business analyst will prepare this BRS document as a outcome of that kind of uh, client interaction meetings where requirements are being discussed okay so simple words brs document is created by business analyst and uh, this brs document is an outcome of the client interaction where the requirements are actually discussed and this brs document outlines what software must do in business language okay so it's simple words it's nothing but a list of requirements okay list of requirements that what software must do in business language will be documented in the BRS document by the business analyst. That's what is BRS document at a high level. Coming to what is SRS then, okay? BRS is all about what software must do, okay? What, what exactly software must do, okay? The requirements of the software will be outlined here. But coming to SRS, it's not about what software must do, but it's all about the technical aspects of the software that how software will be created. So what is the, what are the techni technicalities that we have to use? Okay, what are the technical things we have to follow for developing the software, for creating or building the software? That's what is SR is all about. Okay, so requirements are all about BRS, whereas what, how the software has to be created, in what way? Okay, is all about SRS. So, so SRS means system or software requirement specifications document and uh, it is created by system architect. It's not created by business analyst. SRS document is created by system architect who has a uh, good technical knowledge on how the softwares are generally created. And uh, this SRS uses BRS as a reference, okay? Uh, with the help of BRS only because BRS clearly states that what the software must do, okay? All the requirements of the software are mentioned in the BRS document. Based on the requirements only, the system architect will decide how the software need to be created, okay? How the software need to, which technicalities we have to use for creating the software. Based on the requirements only, system architect will derive, okay? So SRS is derived from the BRS document and uh, it outlines us how the software will be created in technical aspects, okay? Which tools we are going to use, uh, which architecture we are going to use, okay? So all those things will be uh, mentioned or described in this SRS document by the system architect. It's all about technical aspects of the, how the software will be created, whereas BRS is all about the, business aspects of how the soft, what the software must do, okay? What the software must do and it's created by the business analyst. So hope guys you got an idea uh, what exactly is BRS and what exactly is SRS. And as I already mentioned, there are different types of uh, requirement specification documents apart from BRS and SRS, which are given very less importance and very less discussions happens 
everywhere in the project about these other types of requirement specification documents when compared to BRS and SRS. But let's see what exactly they are. FRS stands for functional requirement specifications, okay? Whereas CRS stands for compatibility requirement specifications and configuration, okay? There is another CRS, or apart from compatibility requirement specification document, there's another type of document known as configurations requirement specifications. We also have performance requirement specifications and uh, we also have reliability requirement specifications document and many other things may exist also, okay? Apart from the given list, there may be other type of requirement specification document, but these are the general ones. So hope guys you understood what exactly are the requirement specification documents. So that's all for this session. In the next session, I'm going to answer another software testing interview question for you. Till then, see you bye-bye.